this infographic goes about space. This is what the Hitchhiker's Guide has to say about space. Space, it says, is big. Really big. You won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemists, but that's just peanuts compared to space. But to narrow the subject down, this infographic goes about a planet that is described in the Hitchhiker's Guide as mostly harmless. I'm of course talking about the planet Earth. Earth is surrounded by seven planets. <coughs> that doesn't mean you, Pluto, you're not a planet anymore, so move away. And Earth is inhabited by ape-like descendants. This ape-like descendant is called Man and is bound for extinction because of its self-destructive capabilities. Now one of these ape-like descendants was a person by the name of Carl Sagan. And he once said that if we are to survive, our loyalties must be broadened further to include the whole human community, the entire planet Earth. So this means, to survive, humans must make peace with one another and must start to colonize other planets in their solar system. Now which planets could that be? Well, there are two planets which are suitable candidates for humans to live on. Contestant number one is Mars. Mars has several similarities to the Earth, like the fact that it's a 24-hour day, canyons, riverbanks and giant ice sheets. But it also has disadvantages, like a lesser gravity and lesser atmosphere than on Earth. And to make matters worse, it's fucking cold there. The second planet the human race could live on is Venus. Venus has the advantage of being the closest planet next to Earth and also has a gravity that's quite similar to that of Earth. But it also has several downsides. For starters, it has a day that takes 224 Earth days, which makes it hard there to make a living as a clockmaker, and to make matters worse, it's so hot people could spontaneously combust. Also, honorable mentions for planet colonization would be Earth's moon, the moon of Saturn Titan, and the moons of Jupiter, Europa and Ganymede. But how can you make these planets habitatual for human life? Well, there is a simple answer to that, and it's called terraforming. Terraforming is a process that literally takes ages and is one of the most polluting things humans will ever do since the invention of lead-based petroleum. Because terraforming basically means that you're ruining a planet to create an atmosphere. This is because celestial bodies like Mars or the Moon don't have an atmosphere, which is capable to block ultraviolet solar radiation or to hold oxygen. And these are just two examples of the many things that are needed to make a planet habitatual. Okay, saying that humans have done all that and colonized the planet, how should it be civilized? Should every country on Earth have its own piece of the planet, thereby increasing the chance of war? Or should space colonies be independent with their own governments and be governed by people of all nations and creed? This remains unclear because we are talking about a time span that's so vast, so big and so huge that it may startle a mathematician by the numbers of years it might take. But, long story short, this is what this infographic has to say about humans in space. But before they can do all of that, they'll need world peace, terraform planets and restructure government systems. It makes you wonder if humans will ever inhabit other planets. But that's for humans to decide. <laughs>